With Southwest County being one of the most desirable and one of the most expensive places to live in Roanoke, Virginia, do you think you can afford to live there? The median home value in Southwest Roanoke County is 241,000. That's up a little bit over 5%, which is about average for the nation. Uh, the average rent in Roanoke County is between 900 to 1200 for an apartment. A little bit more if you want uh, a little more luxury, amenities, things like that. The population is just under 36,000 and the average person is 42. We do have a lot of, of younger professionals moving into the area, but we also have people that have lived in their homes forever. So it kind of balances out to 42. 47% of Southwest Vernon County's residents have some type of college education. The unemployment rate in Southwest Roanoke County is 2.6% and the median income for a family is $65,000 a year. Our biggest occupations in the Roanoke County area are healthcare, which Carillion is the number one employer in the Roanoke area, retail, and then also education. We have a lot of school teachers in this area. We average 43 inches of rain each year. Most of that falls in the fall and winter. I think uh, over the last five weeks, uh, we've experienced about four to seven inches of rain. Uh, that's not typical, but we still do get a lot of rain in the winter time. Uh, in the Southwest Roanoke County area, we average about 22 inches of snow. It also depends on where you live. If you live on the top of Bent Mountain in Southwest Roanoke County, you're gonna get a lot more snow than if you lived in the Garson Mill area of Southwest Roanoke County. So it, it kind of depends on where you live to, to what those inches really are. The average person drives about 27 minutes to work. Uh, we're about 20 minutes from downtown Roanoke, uh, about 40 minutes to Christiansburg, about 15 minutes from the interstate. It just depends on where you live uh, in the Roanoke County area. Uh, if you live near Tanglewood, you're only a few minutes from 581. That'll take you pretty much anywhere. Walkability for Roanoke County, not so much. Unless you live around the Tanglewood area of, of uh, Southwest County, you're not really walking to the store too much or you're not walking to your job or anything like that. Uh, most people drive or take public transit. If you are looking for that walkable neighborhood that you're close to shops and close to, to, to public transit and different things like that, click the link above. Kyle on my team has done some amazing videos on the walkability uh, neighborhoods of Roanoke. Now I'm biased because my children graduated from Southwest County schools, but awesome school uh, system over here. Uh, that's a lot of times that's why people are looking to move into this area is because of the school systems. Not saying that any other school in Roanoke is, is bad, but I preferred it here. And uh, for a link of the great school get, schools get in this area, click below and it'll give you a report card for all the schools in this area. The two high schools in this area are Cave Spring and Hidden Valley. My children went to Hidden Valley. I have great friends, their children went to Cave Spring. I don't know that there's much of a difference in the education part of it. Uh, if your child plays school sports, you may want to look at the different sports uh, teams to see how they rank in the, in the state and things like that, if that's important to you. For us, it was more of an education standpoint. Now, if you live in the Roanoke, uh, Southwest Roanoke County area, drop a comment below. Let me know what you love about it, what you hate about it, what you would change about it, and uh, just keep the conversation going. Uh, if you are looking to move to this area and you have uh, different questions, Feel free to reach out to me anytime. I love answering those questions. We have people moving from all over the country, uh, especially with Carillion being one of the biggest uh, employers in this area. Uh, we have people moving here to work for them. But if you're looking to move, uh, get, reach out to me if you have questions. If you live here now and you're looking to buy or sell, let's have a conversation about that too.